the United States, where are we? Are we uh, are we going to get out of the Paris Accord, or Climate Accord? Because many people feel like that would be the smartest move at this point. That, that decision is being made by the president very soon, as he's indicated. And there's been lots of discussions uh, that we've had internally and with the president directly. And I think when you look at Paris, you know, what, what's right about this issue is uh, making sure that we have international discussion with respect to how good a job we're doing across the globe with respecting our CO2 footprint. But what's wrong with Paris? It was, a, it was a bad deal for this country. Uh, 26 to 28 percent targets under the agreement, a $292 billion cost of compliance, a $2.5 trillion gross domestic product hit over 10 years, uh, 400,000 jobs uh, cost with respect to that program. So, so what Paris represents is an America's second strategy. You know, we're already at pre-1994 levels with respect to our CO2 footprint. And when America went to Paris, Russia, China, India, all contributed zero uh, to the Climate Action Fund. And as far as India and China are concerned, they didn't have to take any steps to, to, to address CO2 until the year 2030. That's a bad business deal for this country. It caused a contraction to our economy when we're leading the world already at reducing our CO2 footprint. What's interesting about the reduction of our CO2 footprint is it's been accomplished without any government mandate. Uh, when you look at what's happened, right. you've had technology and innovation in, invested by pro the private sector reducing our CO2 footprint. So we need to tell our story. We don't need to be apologetic about our position. And we need to exit Paris. Uh, Paris is a bad framework. It's a bad business deal for this country. Then let us share with the rest of the world what we've done here uh, to improve our, our, our outputs.